Hi guys, this video is another example of the electrolysis of an aqueous substance, this time it's sulfuric acid. If you haven't yet watched the video on aqueous copper chloride, I recommend you watch that video first before checking out this one. This is my setup for the electrolysis of the sulfuric acid. So let's have a think about the ions present like we normally do. So from the sulfuric acid, you have got two ions. You've got the H plus ions and the sulfate ions. But because it's aqueous, just like we did before, we know that the water can break down into H plus and OH minus. So that also means those two ions are present. Now let's think about whether they would get attracted to the cathode or the anode. So the cathode is negative, so that means both my H plus ions will be attracted there. My anode is positive, so that means both my sulfate and my hydroxide will be attracted to the anode. So luckily in this example you don't have a choice to make at the cathode. There's only really one ion that gets attracted there which is the H plus ion. So that must be reduced at the cathode. So we can write that as 2H plus plus 2 electrons gives you H2 which is just a colourless gas. If you're not sure about where that equation came from then check out the previous video, the copper chloride one, and that will explain more for you. At the anode, however, I have got a choice, and choices is what makes this part difficult. So I've got the sulfate ion and the hydroxide ion. Now, if I look back at my rules about what happens at the anode, it's normally based on concentration. But in this case, I've got a sulfate, and the rule at the bottom says that sulfates never discharge. They will never be oxidized at the anode. So that means it must be the OH- that gets oxidized, making water and O2. So I will see a colourless gas at both the anode and the cathode. Now what's kind of special about this is the ratio between the oxygen to the hydrogen quantities. Let's look at the equations in a little bit more detail. So to make one molecule of H2, I require two electrons. But to make one molecule of O2, it needs to give off four electrons. So what that means is for every one oxygen I make, I can also make two molecules of H2. So that's why you'll see double the amount of hydrogen gas as you will oxygen gas. That's all for the electrolysis of sulfuric acid. Make sure you do lots of examples of electrolyzing different substances so that you make sure you can get those half equations sorted.